Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. Some few minutes ago, Babu Owino leaked a WhatsApp chat. And if you go through this WhatsApp chat, it's from Oda Team Nairobi. So in this video, I want us to have a look at that chat, after which, as usual, I'll just explain what it means politically. Yes. Babu Owino. These are the dirty plans from my unworthy opponent. And then you can see the chat there. Order Team Nairobi. And then up there, Azimio Goonstone DP William Ruto. And then the chat continues. Siya leo imeweza. Hiya embakasi tunachukua. And then Honorable Sudi replying to Honorable Murei the Embakasi. Iko sawa kabisa. Sympathy votes utapata sana. Kitu sasa unafa kufanya is organizing my youth wapa wape t-shirts zimiandikuwa babu fu MP na azimio wavai na waingie mitani embakasi wavuruge wa mama wa wachape sana. Honorable Nixon Langant. Replying to Honorable Sudi. Perfect. Babu is an heavyweight na ground yake ikopoa. Itabidi mureithi ajipange kabisa if need be atu ite baka. Honorable Mureithi Embakasi replying to Sudi. I get you. Good idea naona ikosawa. That simple. I'll print them nipema Vijana tuko na wao wengi wavai wachape wa mama na wavuruge watu ya biashara hiyo inaweza haribia babu ground sana but more sapa itabidi wasituuze hiyo inaweza nipiga sana please let's be careful even for the sake of his excellency the fifth then honorable sudi tunawajua lakini watulie Hii nyumba ni kubwa. Thus, order team Nairobi leaked, leaked chart by Babu Owino. And looking at the message of that chart, the message seems authentic. Because this is not the first time we are hearing of such kind of strategies in politics. Mike Movie Songo actually revealed to Kenyans that in the 2017 presidential elections, they used to print ODM t-shirts and then they give them to some goons who would then go rioting along Rang Langata Road. And that could paint a big picture of ODM party. So this is not far-fetched. It's something that I know might have been discussed on that day William Ruto was actually stoned at Jacaranda Grounds. And I'm saying that because largely, if you look at William Ruto, his brand of politics is largely based on seeking sympathy. So I honestly believe that on that, after that stoning in Jacaranda, this kind of a discussion I know might have been discussed within the older ranks. So in this video, I want us to dissect this chart. Because the message I believe is authentic. I want us to dissect that message to see exactly what it means politically. But before we do that, in case you are watching us for the very first time and so far you have not yet subscribed, kindly subscribe, give this video a like. Thank you, God bless you, God bless Kenya. Yes. I always believe that there is no secret that is actually a secret. Some months ago, there was a leaked phone call between Rafael Tuju and Daniel Karaba. And at that time, it was considered impossible to leak that kind of a phone call. Now that Rafael Tuju was deep inside in government. So this WhatsApp chat, this one, 
of the likes of Sudi, I know it might be the authentic chart between this team. And I'm saying it might be the authentic chart because upon William Ruto being blocked from Jacaranda, it's commonsensical that the older ranks, the older brigade, might have talked about sympathy votes. They might, they might have talked about that. And it's almost also certain they might have also thought or talked about a counter strategy that could also actually paint Babu Owino in bad light. And if you look at that chart, there are some things coming out very clearly from that chart. The first thing coming out clearly from that chart, Oda Nairobi team is admitting that they have a very weak parliamentary candidate in Embakasi is constituency. We are seeing Nick, Nixon Corrin actually admitting that Babu Owino is very strong on the ground, so they should actually give Francis Muraidi a backup. That's just a confirmation that their older candidate in Embakasi East constituency is very weak that he cannot single-handedly face off with Babu Owino. And that only means that Babu Owino most likely will easily, easily win back his seat in this year's parliamentary, or rather in this year's elections. That comes out very clearly. And then secondly, I'm seeing an, a disparate order brigade whose political survival just depends on seeking sympathy, propaganda, and lies. And I'm saying that because today William Ruto was in Mombasa and he was telling the good people of Mombasa that if he wins the presidency, he will actually revert Naivasha Dry Port to, to Mombasa. That's what Ruto was telling people in Mombasa. But the same William Ruto some years back was the one advocating for the creation of Naivasha Dry Port. Right now, today, if you listen to him today in Mombasa, he was accusing and attacking some people of having taken that port to Naivasha. That's the kind of deceit, conmanship, propaganda, and lies I'm talking about. So this chat also just reveals that kind of a deceit. These are people who are just trying to use sympathy or to use some kind of shortcuts to achieve their political ambitions and gains. And from that chart again, I'm seeing an older brigade who are not serious when they talk about the bottoms up. Mamamboga, Boda Boda, Mutu Wachini. They are actually planning to mobilize youth, they print ODM t-shirts, they give the youths, the youths go cause chaos, disturb Mamamboga. That's what we are seeing from that chart. And that's also not far-fetched because Mike Movie Sonko some months ago just told Kenyans that in the 2017 presidential elections, they printed ODM t-shirts and then they gave them to some goons who were actually rioting along Langata Road. And that painted ODM party in a bad light. So it's not far-fetched that maybe this older brigade team, Nairobi, they might be planning of printing t-shirts with Babu Owino's name. They give them to goons who then go on to disturb Mamamboga and the Boda Bodas. That's a confirmation that this is a team that are not serious about empowering the lowly in the society. They just want to take advantage of the poor of the poor in the society to advance their political interests. But they don't have them at hand. That also comes out very, very clear. And likely if you look at William Ruto, the way he has been dealing with the lowly in the society, William Ruto has not once or twice, but on several occasions, he has actually proved that he does not care about these people. There was also an incident 
where William Ruto went to Kambani and he encountered a mama mboga one on one and he even invited that mama mboga to his current residence office. Later the mama mboga came back crying that William Ruto actually never fulfilled the promises he made to her. So this is a team that are clearly misusing the poor in the society. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, as I conclude, this chart is also a confirmation that already Babu Owino has actually thwarted the order to Nairobi plans, if at all that was their plan. Babu Owino has again single-handedly thwarted that plan. Otherwise, God bless you. God bless Kenya. Yes.